Hi, Andy from Ducting Express here. Today we're going to talk about blast gate dampers. So here we have a manual blast gate damper. Now a blast gate damper can be fitted into ducting like this here. This is used to control airflow or product from passing. So manual blade is open and shut right here with your hands and can uh, be tightened and shut there with this thumb screw. So usually for a blast gate damper like so, you'd have this in a woodworking scenario to stop wood and control your airflows to each machine. So moving on, we'll go to the pneumatic dampers. Now this is controlled by compressed air, which is getting a signal from here, from this uh, control. So I'm gonna open that like so, and that one closes. And this is all through the compressed air. So this can also be controlled by using this solenoid which comes in a 24 volt AC or DC, or a 240 or 110 AC. So this can be mounted up here like so. Requires an electrical signal from maybe a machine or a switch. Um, compressed air in here. Control, you can control compressed air at the speed of the damper here through this regulator, just there. Turn that up and down depending on what speed you want, want your damper to open and shut. So just to surmise the, the difference between a, a pneumatic damper and a manual damper, uh, the advantages and disadvantages are pneumatic dampers can be controlled by a machine, less, less human error there. Uh, if you've got a multiple leg system where the ducting is up high, obviously you don't have to get up there and open and close with the, the manual stuff. So, in, in reality, the pneumatics are probably better to use. If you need any more information on these, just give us a call at Dr. Express.